Welcome back to High Code. In this video, we're developing the three-code problem 104, which challenges us to determine the maximum depth of a binary tree. Whether you are new to the algorithms or sharpening your skills, understanding the indicators of the binary tree tower is essential. Let's dive in and unravel the mystery of maximum tree depth together. So the question is: given the root of a binary tree, return its maximum depth. So binary trees maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the fourthest leaf node. So Basically here the maximum depth of a binary tree refers to the longest path from the root node to any leaf node. So it's fundamental concept in a tree traversal and forms the basis for various tree related algorithms. So let's see the example here. So here in the given example we can clearly see that the maximum depth is 3, 1, 2 and 3. This is the longest path from the root node to the furthest leaf node, right? So that's why we have taken this as the maximum uh, depth of a tree. So that's 3 here. That example too we can see that. Uh, root is equal to 1, null and 2. So the root doesn't have a left node, it just have a right node. So here the maximum depth is 2. So here the constraints or number of nodes in the tree is in the range of 0 to 10 power 4. The node value is in the inclusive range of minus 100 to 100. So yeah. We're going to explore a recursive solution to this problem, leveraging the depth sources. So by the traversing the tree recursively, we can determine the depth of each subtree and return the maximum depth. So the algorithm starts like this. First, we need to check the base case. So the base case is if, if the root node is null, we just return zero as there is no nodes here. So next is the recursive step. So we calculate the maximum depth of the left subtree recursively by calling the maximum depth function on the left child of the root node. And similarly, we do calculate the maximum depth of the right subtree by recursively calling the maximum depth function on the right child of this root node. Okay, uh, and then we return the result. So this we return the maximum depth so for left and right subtrees plus one for the root node itself we had to accommodate uh, uh, accommodate nine we had to consider the root node also right in, in the calculation of the depth so that's why we add one to that so let's look into the code so here as we discussed if there is uh, this is a base case if there is no root or like its root is none so we just return zero so and the next case is the recursive step itself so here uh, we just return one plus max uh, depth of we just call this function recursively for the left tree and the right tree that's all nothing much so this one accommodates to the root node and this is just like uh, get the uh, maximum depth of the left subtree and this gets the maximum depth of the right subtree it's very simple right so let's look into the complexity here so the time complexity we visit them each node exactly once there's a time complexity is o of n where n is the number of nodes so space complexity in the worst case the tree is completely unbalanced that is each tree node has only left shell or right shell so the recursion would occur n times the height of the tree so therefore uh, the storage to keep the call stack would be o of n so but in the best case the tree is completely balanced the height of the tree would be then o of log n so therefore the space complexity in this case would be o of log n so in the we always consider the worst case in telling the space complexity so it's o of n here so demo and conclusion i got the code ready here let's try submitting this so yeah it beats 76.33 percent of the users python good solution though So conclusion, understanding how to find the de maximum depth of a binary tree is crucial for mastering the tree traversal algorithms. By grasping the recursive approach presented in the tutorial, you will be prepared to tackle similar tree related problems. Thank you for tuning in to the episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problems on the If you have any questions or questions on future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, have a good day.